Hello everybody, this is another Super Geeks production. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a DDoS attack against a wireless client. You can also use the same method for using an attack against a whole subnet, a whole server, or a whole class of subnets slash IPs. To show you a proof of concept, I'm going to go ahead and connect to a wireless network and go to the internet to show you I can get the TCP IP data I need to view whatever I search. I went to start services network start network then you will click wireless configuration WICD you could also type WICD here. Next thing I'm going to do is connect to a network. I've already entered the password ready to go We'll show you that the internet works and then we will disable and disconnect and run our attack and then we will reconnect okay we are connected let's go to the internet well luckily it took me to google anyway yahoo TTLs real quick on my CMP pings and data requests, so I'm getting data real quick. All right, let's, let's close it, disconnect, let's close out our wireless configuration utility. <clears throat> now we're going to start our attack. First thing I want you to do is start your wireless card in monitor mode, like so. Then I want you to run arrow dump. Then your interface, which is now monitor zero or mon one, monitor one. Go ahead and wait a couple seconds. Get yourself some good BSS IDs, which is the router's MAC station right here, which is the um, the actual victims or some client on a network on a router right here. So this is a router. These are the clients. Really important. You want to look for the data and the channel that you're on. Let's go ahead and stop it. I know that this is the MAC address of the router that I want to do a DDoS attack on. DDoS. Denial of service. Meaning you, you will stop all the router traffic. You, you will pretty much kind of like a man in the middle attack, but you're not forwarding any packets anywhere. They're just stopping them and killing them immediately. So the next thing you need to do is head over to, well first we'll create a file then we'll head over to our MDK3 working directory. So first thing you want to do is create a file with the MAC address. So we're going to create a file with the MAC address of the router that we want to hack. And we're going to call it, let's call it BL. Okay. Now, cat bl to make sure we have our info in there. Okay, great. Now I need to head over to our MDK3 directory, like so. Well. Okay. Now we will minimize this and use it later. We're going to come back to it. Now once you're in MDK3 directory. What I need you to do is enter this command. Dot MDK3 interface D slash B, which for the, the word that being catted with the MAC address in it, and then channel. Hit enter. Next thing you need to do is turn on um, packet killing mode. Like so, okay. And the very last thing you need to do in order to successfully, successfully get this DDoS attack working, you need to lock down the access port 
to a point, if you will. We're really locking down ports, so that's why I'm calling access ports. Anyways, we're locking out some of the ports, so you have to run your airplay command. Aircraft suite consists of air dump, airplay, and a bunch of other aircrackers and shit. They got some really cool stuff here. So, get yourself in tune with the aircraft commands and programs because you will be using them a lot if you're using Backtrack or any other beefed up Linux distro. Okay, now that you have successfully started the DDoS attack, you need to head over to your router again and try to connect. It will possibly take a while a lot longer to connect than usual because your signal will be degraded at least 10 dB through this attack due to the locking down of the access point and other methods to steal and kill the data. Degrades the signal a lot. Start the attack. Now let's go to Google. As you see, it's not going to Google. So, my friends, you have now learned how to do a DDoS attack against a router. You can use this, like I said earlier, to attack other things such as switches, gateways, other types of access ports, points. You can lock down certain ports and forward every data to a different server if you